Hey guys, it's Young Man Duchess here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up an unturned server. Okay, so the first thing for setting up a server is you want to have unturned installed on Steam. Then you basically want to go ahead and right click on unturned, hit properties, uh, go across local files, and hit browse local files. Then you basically want to scroll down until you reach uh, this and you're looking for unturned.exe then you want to right click on it create shortcut you should get something like this then you want to right click properties and then it should just look like this so then what you want to do is go down into the description and I have a um, unturned server tutorial pack and um, it'll come as a zip folder um, so you'll just need to go ahead and right click on it and hit extract you will need 7-zip for that so if you don't have 7-zip go ahead and get it basically in this pack I've just put a couple of commands um, so yeah so basically you just want to go ahead and copy that from servername.txt go to the end of this and just paste that in then you just want to go back and put a space between exe and no graphics then you want to hit apply and then all you want to do is change this to whatever you want the server name to be so I'm going to call this server uh, young mind uh, unturned and then we're going to hit apply then what you want to do is go back to the unturned folder and run that shortcut this will basically set up your shortcut, uh, your server for the first time. Uh, so you'll get all the folders that you can edit. So um, it'll take a couple of seconds because it basically, basically has to load the whole world um, that your server is going to be hosted on. So the first time um, it will take a while. It won't take as long every time. It'll basically every time you launch the server, it'll get quicker. But the first time it can take a while. So basically just wait for that and then I'll show you the next step which is also um, included within this pack so um, yeah the pack isn't essential for this but it will make things a lot easier as um, I'll be using it a lot throughout this video also don't worry if you um, don't have this stuff this is uh, for a rocket server if you want a tutorial on how to install rocket mods onto your server uh, leave a comment down below and um, I'll definitely get on one of those so after this is reached loading 100% that's it done so what you want to go ahead and do is type shut down and that will completely shut down your server then what you want to do is go to servers and find the one you just created then you want to go to server and you want to right click on commands.dat and hit edit with notepad++ if you don't have notepad++ also recommend getting that it makes things a whole lot easier uh, you can still use notepad you just have to go to open with and then notepad but I recommend notepad plus plus okay so you open this up and it should be blank so what I recommend doing is going to the pack that I provided and then taking the commands dot dat from here and dragging it in to there and hit replace then what this will do is if you go to edit with notepad plus plus you will see that it will already have some predefined things so we'll just run over these quickly name is the name of your server map is um, the map you want this is uh, case sensitive so if you want Washington you will have to put the capital W um, but I'm just going to leave it on PEI for now port um, is 27015 uh, definitely leave it on this this is one of the few ports that unturned accepts you will need this if you want your friends to join the server and I'll speak about this in my port forwarding tutorial um, I have an old port forwarding tutorial it still works it's just not my best video ever but um, yeah definitely check that out if you want friends to join or I will be doing a port forwarding tutorial within the coming days so these are the three things that you need for a server to work now we're going to go over some optional things 
So password, that is um, the password that people will need to enter to join your server. Mode, um, you can either have easy, normal, hard or gold. So it depends what difficulty you want or if you're gold members and you want that extra loot, set it to gold. Um, only gold members can join gold servers though, so just keep that in mind. So if you want to play with your friends and they don't have gold, they cannot join a gold server. Perspective, um, you can set this to first, third, or both. First, they can only play in first person. Third, they can only play in third person. And both, they can alternate between both of them. Max players, um, this is the maximum amount of players you want to be able to join your server. So, say if you're only hold hosting a server for you and three more friends, you could set this to four. Then PvP, you can either set that to PvP or PvE. PvP means players can attack each other. PvE means players can't. Cycle is in seconds and it basically means how long a day-night cycle is. So how long you want a day to last. I've said it's 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes, which is a pretty good uh, base ground. And then welcome is basically a welcome message. So anyone will get this message when they turn on the server. Then I also have a link here. So if you um, control click on the link and just remove the two slashes at the end. Then this basically gives you every command you could ever want. So say if you want to turn on cheats, you want to kick someone, anything like that. Just because I don't want to go over every single um, every single command in this video, because then it would just last forever. So I've just went over the most important ones, but definitely refer to the link um, so that you know what commands you want to put in and you can have a look. For example, cheats is there, because I had a lot of people in the last video asking about cheats. So if you've got a really mingy player joining and you just don't like them, you can ban them. Airdrop is, um, you just force an uh, airdrop to happen. So, yeah, that's really important. So keep that in mind. Then basically you just want to save. Once you've edited this and added whatever commands you want, you want to save. And then just go back to unturned. And run it again. As you can see, it's much quicker this time because it's already loaded at once, so it's just reloading the information. And as you can see, that's it loaded already. So then if we go ahead and put into unturned, we will see and I'll show you how to join your own server. Okay, so now that you're in game, you want to go ahead and hit play, go to connect, type localhost port 27015 and the password that you chose. Then you want to hit connect and hit join. For your friends joining, they'll need to enter your IP. But I'll go over this in my port forwarding guide. Or you can watch my old port forwarding guide. And that also goes over it. So now that you can see, I've loaded in game. It says at the top, welcome to Young Mind server. Because we put that welcome command. And that's basically it. If your friends want to join, you will need to forward, uh, follow the port forwarding guide. So definitely check that out, link in the description. Or I will be doing a new port forwarding guide within the coming days. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. If this video helps you out, leave a like. If you're new, definitely think about subscribing. Or if you think the tutorial could benefit someone, definitely be sure to share. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Oh.